Facts. So you never know, man. I, 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 I'm with you, man. I hope that you know the best for that for that brother, man. Definitely. I, I, I experienced it on a, a lower scale, far lower than Jamie. But to the the uh, the schedule of an actor is ridiculous. And you talk about entertainment. <sighs> and you talk about interviews. And he was on set shooting one movie, and I think he was in the process of doing another movie. The sleep schedule is crazy. Yep. The food schedule is crazy. You just you don't have any time to rest because you're constantly in the mind of somebody else, not your own. So right. it's a lot of factors that can go into that. Hopefully at the end of the day, though, he's cool. His family's cool and he can recover and a full recovery and get back to what he does best, man. Yeah. So let's talk about somebody who's probably not doing so good. Well, maybe we'll see. Jonathan Majors. Man, man. Now today, man. his talent manager, several sources are saying that his talent manager, Entertainment 360 has dropped Jonathan Majors. Other sources came out and said they had a mutual agreement to split, but, Nevertheless, you know, um, I'm not sure what they really, what you could, you know, elaborate more on with the talent manager as far. I don't know if they like get him gigs or, but, you know, they're splitting ways because of his recent arrest for domestic violence in New York. Um, what's your thoughts? First of all, what is the talent manager? Yeah. How does this affect him? It's a huge deal. Damn. It is almost everything. Now, hopefully. Wow. Hopefully he has a mutual split and has something else put in place. Okay. Because if he doesn't, you figure that's the liaison to every major acting role he's ever had. Oh, the brother's done. No. He's extremely talented. But how many people are extremely talented out here? Uh, as I was doing my thing, a lot of the people, one of my main um, castmates, my brother Jamal, he was telling me, you go to certain schools in New York, you go to certain acting schools. Mm -hmm. They set you up with these agents and you get with the top five agencies in the world and you're guaranteed wow. to get these particular roles and guaranteed to get in Hollywood based off the schools you go to. So there's a pipeline okay, on you. success when it comes to this. And that talent agent is vital. And then you talk about his PR team. If you don't got a PR team writing these publications and getting him out here, that's a major blow, man. And um, I don't know if it's fair. And we're going to get deeper into it, I guess, as the more information that comes along. But... Should he have put his hands on a woman? Absolutely not. And that's all alleged right now. Right. He was, she she retracted the statement. His lawyers came out with evidence proving that it wasn't exactly what they were saying. And correct me if I'm wrong, he called the cops in the situation, yet he was arrested. It seems very dirty. It stinks. You said it when we first talked about it. It stinks. Yeah. It doesn't smell good. And now he's starting to lose people as he was becoming the next leading man in Hollywood, and when it, especially when it came to us, Creed Three. The, the uh, Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. uh, he just did a movie Devotion where he was a, a pilot. He was killing the game. You know what I'm saying? So, damn. It just sucks. You know He's a hell of an actor, man. Remember, we had, we had Judge Joe Brown. Shout out to Judge Joe Brown yesterday. And he was like talking about how United States is so great and that in France, you got to actually prove that right. you're, you know, innocent before they let you go. Well, I think it's the same way here. Yeah. What happened? He didn't have a trial yet. Nope. He didn't go through, you know, just process a due process like that. It was a mere, it was an arrest, but it was a mere allegation, a retraction of the allegation. And he's being treated as if he was already guilty, convicted of this. Yep. So is it really different in the U.S. than France like that? Maybe some could say in certain situations, but this is a situation right here where, like, and we always, with Coolio said this on the show, like, and Judge O'Brien agreed to it yesterday. Like, once you are once the allegation comes out it's over for you most people think that that's it look at tiffany haddish what happened mm. to her mm. even though that was something that's a little different because that's something that actually you know right was proven to happen but it's like damn shave years off a career oh yeah you know I mean? oh yeah and that's something we could probably you know talk about too you know tiffany has you think she's finished at this point in time she won't be the same right they're talking about doing um i forgot what that movie was with her queen latifah jada and all them um Regina King. I forgot what the movie, Girls Trip. They were talking about doing another one of those. She's obviously going to be putting that, but how many other opportunities is she going to get? She took a huge, huge hit from that. Yeah. And this is what happens, man. Yeah. And like you said, this is, unfortunately, no, you may not have your freedom taken away as right. of France or of the country, but he lost a military ad. He potentially lost one of the biggest roles that he's playing right now, one of the biggest bags in the Marvel movie. They were threatening taking that away from him. He's lost his premier talent agency. Hopefully he finds another one and his main PR people right. to an actor, man. He lost his start in five. This is bad. Remember what Meek said, though? He said, they don't kill you now. They take it out of your deal. Mm. There you go. They are. Yeah. I wish the best for him. He's an incredible actor. I, I was really 
I was watching him from the ground up and I was really liking what I was seeing from this brother. And this is this sucks, man. I didn't like to see it when it came out and this is nasty, bro. I just hope it's I hope for the best. Yeah. You know I hope mean? it ain't the end for him, man. Indeed, indeed. Well, I want I want to talk about Meg the Stallion. Yeah. Meg the Stallion came out today. Um she did a public uh she wrote a very lengthy I guess uh, opening statement back coming back out into the public. She wrote it on Ellie. It's very long. She she went all the way in mm-hmm. about the situation that happened between her and Tory Lanez. Um, she doesn't want to be considered a victim. Right. She she mentioned that. She said that it really just bothered her how she was. She never fathomed that she would be looked at as a liar in this situation. She said that she wished that it would have went different, but because Tory Lanez went public with the situation, it had to go public and it went where it went. She said that she was very hurt that she had to go through this situation without her mother and her god or her grandmother. I mean, that she had to deal with the situation alone. I'm just pointing out tidbits. She wrote a very long thing, read it in this entirety because she talked about much more. And then she said that she, when the guilty verdict was passed down December, 2022, it was not only a victory for her, but a victory for all victims of violence. Woo! In, hey. in in crime against women and things like that. Ow. Um, I don't know if you read it. I don't know how deep you read into it. I ain't read that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I do get the gist of it. Though. Yeah. What's your What's yeah. your thoughts on the whole the whole situation now that we we sit months after it? You know, man. I, I, I it's opposite of what I thought about it the whole time. You know, meaning that, you know, with the whole situation. It never should have happened like that. Like, and then it appears like now that Tro- that um, Tory did it, that to me it was some sucker shit. But I think, in my opinion, and these two things don't have anything to do, you know, necessarily. That whole situation that she had with Carl Crawford, you know, the Jay Z thing, would it appear like, and we don't all know for sure because we haven't seen the contracts and stuff, that she kind of just shitted on him to move over to Rock Nation and whatnot. I think that kind of like put a, a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth on who her character, what her character was like. Yeah. And I think it kind of trickled over into that. People think she was like a liar. And a lot of the things that, you know, early on looked like she was lying because, and that's the thing with the media. That's, that's not fair. Like the information is going to be going to be coming out and you could be in a case, but you really can't say shit, even though it's dead wrong. You got to let the courts decide. Cause yeah. the court, from, from all of us on the outside, we thought tour was going to walk. Yep. That's what we was thinking, but hell no, nah, his ass got convicted. He's sitting in limbo right now with an appeal and all that. So a, a side of me thinks that, you know, she kind of grew up too quick. And I kind of feel bad for her a little bit as far as like, you know, losing her parents and stuff like that. And I think she grew up too quick, had a talent and got thrust in a situation way bigger than what she ever thought it was going, you know, to be. And I really think she's just really a scared, even though she's a grown woman, a scared little girl right now with a lot of pressure you know, on her life, but that's just how I feel about it, man. I can't, you know, go away from it. I'm, I don't, I'm mad that the whole situation had to happen to her. I'm even mad that even, you know, you know, we got to see Tory go to prison over it. But if he decide to do what he did and shoot somebody, I mean, the law is the law. Well, who are we to say anything against that? That's why you could tell we family, man. Cause I know a lot of people want us to disagree a lot of times, but right. You damn, it just took the words out of my mouth, especially the last part you said, do I, when you look at the situation and you look at how it was handled, it was very immature. It was very ugly on both sides. And we talked about that in nauseam here. No matter who was guilty, who was innocent, it don't look good for either of them. Right. And I'm glad that Megan took time to get away and get away from all of this shit to kind of just get her hair right, let things settle, because she was a very young woman, very, living a very fast life, exploiting her body, exploiting herself, not having any real guidance to people that were very solid in her life, passed away. And she was out here just living. Right. You know what I mean? She feels like she got jerked in the 1501 uh, entertainment deal. She goes over to the biggest music entity there is, Rock Nation. You know what I mean? She's in Hollywood doing her thing, living life. And then at the snap of a finger, her life changes. And all yeah. of a sudden now she's thrusting into this situation where yeah. the opposite side of this fame starts coming out. People don't like her. And she's cooked up and connected to these phones as many of the young people are. And yeah. She's reading everything and object, uh, absorbing everything and feeling everything. It's, it's probably, you know what I mean, slowly killing her at a very young age. So I don't, I, I, I sympathize and empathize for that. I really do. Uh, it's unfortunate what happened. I, I still don't think we know the complete truth of the situation. Right. I still don't think or or I don't, I don't assume we'll ever know what happened in that vehicle. I think the young lady that was in there takes a lot more responsibility than she's given. 
I think Tori may take a lot more responsibility than he's even given off. And Meg, she takes a lot more responsibility. I think everybody's yeah. wrong in their own right now situation. And somebody got shot. Megan got shot. So at the end of the day, somebody needs to deserve to take that. And Tori took it. It is what it is at this point. Um, one thing I don't agree with her, though, is this. When she said that that day was a victory for right. all women. <laughs> That's where it starts getting, all right, now you're getting agenda-ish to me. Now you're getting like, all right, what the fuck? Because that wasn't a victory for that woman that's unfortunately getting abused by her man right now. That wasn't a victory for the woman that lost in court because her man was a piece. That's not a victory for them. That was a victory for you. Yeah, pretty (laughs) much. And you only. So the the agenda part kind of missed me with that. But as I was reading it, like I said, it's a lot longer and a lot more depth in that one little piece you, you could feel for. It's like, damn. Yeah, you know definitely, I mean? and you know, yeah, this, this whole industry, man, you you got to grow up fast, and I'm so I'm I'm she probably even regret that she even I bet certain parts of her probably regret, you know, not that she made it, but like the whole the, what comes with this whole superstardom thing. Mm-hmm. I think a part of her was like, man, I wish I would just stay, you know what I mean? Just that girl from Houston trying to make it Word. and whatnot, because now it's a whole shit storm. But hey, look, I think she'll grow from this. I don't know how long she's gonna keep doing the booty music, the booty shaking music. You know what I mean? At some point you gotta evolve, but shit, Nikki damn near forty. You know, you know, still shaking her ass with young ass Ice Spice and we shit. Talk about that. Yeah, that's that's Goodness going to one now, gracious. man. I even seen this chick. What's her name from Memphis? Damn, what's Gorilla. This? Yeah, she over there like shaking her no ass. I'm like, yo, like, I'm not trying to be a hater on the young people, right? I get it, but that's all this shit is now. It's like more smut music, more popping a pussy smut music. That's all that's coming. That's all that's being promoted now. It's like, man, like, and you can say all you want. Oh, you know, you can censorship on this and that. But these kids are seeing that shit. Yeah. They seeing it, man. Early. They emulating it. Yeah. Early. Yeah. My my daughter is in second grade. And them girls that got older sisters are in there shaking their ass. And my daughter comes home like, yo, so-and-so was doing this. And I'm like, yo, you do it. And lighten your ass up. And every boy around you. So don't right. get embarrassed in that school. I'm telling you. But it's like. You said Nikki, and I, I laugh because this weekend I'm like, oh, man, I've been enjoying Nikki shake her ass for 15, 20 years. <laughs> right. But at some point, you're 40 Your something years old. <laughs> you got ill. It, you, and first off, the sad part about it is she's more talented than half these artists, not All just female yeah. artists, artists in general. Yeah. Nikki don't got to do that, <laughs> man. Don't, that's crazy. You know, Nikki don't, don't got to do that. But I feel like a little bit of her, and I'm sorry, don't take it the wrong way. I'm, they probably act like they don't see this anyway, but she <laughs> acts like you hanging out with the young ones as if they're competition. You're beefing with Lotto. You're, you're, you're shaking your ass with Ice Spice that Damn. looked up to you when she was seven years old. And she <laughs> admitted that. And it's like, why are you trying to, why are you that, that one in college at 30 years old hanging with the college kids? Like, right. still rap, but you don't see... Your counter male parts doing that kind of shit. You don't see Hov sitting there, I mean, running around popping bottles in the club with Twenty One Savage and shit like they just. Right. It don't happen. I mean, it got to be level. So, I don't, I don't know, man. I think that it is, as much as we as men love women, love the women anatomy. There's also a, a, a bit of promiscuous behavior that we also enjoy. That chase that we also go. enjoy. And because that's not what a woman's all about. Word. That's one part of it, but there's other aspects, and I'm not saying that Nikki's lacking in none of that. There's other aspects of that, you know, as well, that a man is going to love. Like you said, it's a missive part to being a helpmate, to help complete. And you know, like LeBron said about his wife, he never would have made it without his wife. And there's certain things that a woman is going to, you know, complete you at and, you know, be kind of like your brains, be behind your back. Like, oh, you know what? You know, I see this coming, this coming, this coming. Yep. Not shaking a damn ass all day. Like, it's a point in time you like that. But God damn, there's any brains that come with that shit? Please. Man, and the whole Lotto shit is like, come on, Lotto, are you serious? Lotto shouldn't ever open her mouth to address the goddamn queen. Mm. Like, come on, man. Like, If you can't lyrically fuck with somebody, you shouldn't talk. Period. Young, young disrespectful. Nikki shouldn't even entertain it. True. Young dis- I, I, What did she say? Because I don't, I, don't I don't even know the depth of that shit. She did some shit on shit. stage or something. Okay. And since she got caught with the, I don't know if she got caught with the fake um, Photoshop image of the joint or whatever, her nah. the um, joint. Mm. And all that Lotto and uh, I think it was Lotto. One of them hoes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Lotto though. But yeah, man, it's like I feel the same way you do about Nikki. Like it's a point in time. Like how, how old is Ice Spice? Like 20, 19 years old. Twenty two. And and I like the part that she's embracing her and bringing her up on the hoardum, hoardum shit. You know, what? What I mean, she's gonna be the next one. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, goddamn. 
You know what I mean? But nah, man, shout out to Nikki. Shout out to all of them. The talent, nobody can fuck with Nikki talently. Talent-wise, I think she probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and probably say the greatest, you know, female rapper of all time at this point. You know what I mean? As far as success-wise, maybe not skills and lyrics, but success-wise. She's yeah. the most decorated. Yeah. Of all time. And she deserves it yep. for what she's done for female hip hop. And we'll have that conversation one day as we did Wayne. Did he, did she make female hip hop or did she ruin female hip hop? And I think the conversation's very fair because when you look at the imagery and the, the, mm. the blueprint of what these female artists are trying to emulate now, you got to shake your ass. You got to be half naked. You got to be yep. talking about doing niggas dirty and you know what I mean? And, Hey, you I don't have know. to, like you said, it ain't an option. Have to. You have to. You have ain't nobody to. check from the fucking rhapsody. Nope. As much as dope as she is, no. Nope. You know who I do like appreciate that we watched that Scarlet chick that back the fuck up. Oh yeah, Move that hood shit, back. that drill shit. That is that drill? Yeah, that's drill, right? That's some drill hood shit. That's some gutter street <laughs> fucking yeah, I like that. in the goddamn gutter <laughs> shit right there. I, Play that shit and knock somebody's head off. Boy. <laughs> I don't know too much of the other shit, but I like that rough shit. These bitches don't want to do that shit. Hey, if you listen and get Rod Digger on that joint Ooh, remix, that she got Busta on it. Oh, she do. Oh, there you go. Now that you say that, she got Busta on that joint. It, it sounds like one of them should be on it. Yep. You know, they doing their thing, man. Let's talk about your boy, nut ass Marcus Houston.